The setting is 1865 aboard the SS Sultana, a 265-foot wooden hull steamship. It was equipped with four high-pressure boilers, which gave power to two steam engines. The characters are the boiler maker, R.G. Taylor, Captain J.C. Mason. Hey, Taylor. I'm having an issue with the boilers aboard ship. I've come across two leaks. I have a mission to accomplish and need the ship running at tip-top shape. I can take a look and assess the issue at hand, but can you tell me what might have caused the leaks? Maybe stress on the boiler? Thank you. The only thing I can think of is that I have a little bit of extra cargo on board. When in reality the ship had a legal capacity of 376 people, it was estimated that the captain, that Captain J.C. Mason had the ship overloaded as much as 2,000 people and was paid to keep quiet about it. That may have caused your problem, however. Are you sure on how it happened? Are you aware of how your engine makes your boat move? Dare you insult me and my vessel? I know exactly how it works, in which it gets me from my starting point to my end destination. You're about, you're right about one of those things, but I'm just a boiler maker. Even I do not know exactly how they work. A steam engine is a type of engine that uses coal or wood to create heat energy. The heat energy is used to heat water within a high pressure boiler. Thus, the water comes to steam and expands 1600 times, then causes the piston to push against the cylinder. Mechanical energy was created and the pistons within the cylinder are pushing rods that turn the wheels in relation to a steam powered train. In regards of those leaks, I will patch them and you will be on your way. Later in Captain J.C.'s Mason's journey, had some, someone had placed a coal torpedo in a coal pile in the boiler room, trying to sabotage the whole operation. The coal torpedo was a four-pound artillery shell that had shell that had replicated a piece of coal. This explosion was the worst boiler accident in history to date. The death toll was estimated at 1,800 plus lives. <laughs> that was perfect. That's his phone. <laughs>